here's a reason I don't like public land. Yeah, out here trying to scout and deer hunt, and somebody's let their dogs loose. So, there's my day. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wesley Littlefield with Wesley Littlefield's Wildlife, and I wanna welcome you guys again to a video on public land hunting how to hunt public land and honestly I just want to give you three tips that will make you a better public land hunter and two of them are mistakes that I made this morning while deer hunting so learn from my, my mistakes and one of them was a mistake that somebody else made that I saw so the first one and this one drives me crazy no matter if I'm deer hunting or duck hunting on public land I know it's bound to happen but getting there late I all the time I see people who pull in just before sunrise or just before shooting light and then think they have enough time to make it to the tree you don't you need at least I mean for me maybe I'm overly cautious but I at least put in an hour in the tree just sitting there letting everything calm down let every you know all the birds get calmed back down my scent hopefully get dispersed a little bit better and uh so that's number one get there early don't come strolling through the woods you know as the sun's coming up or whatever if you're gonna be late i get it every now and then but it just seems like every time i'm in public land i see somebody strolling in late and that's just a oh, a pet peeve of mine i've had it like i said i had it duck hunting had it deer hunting today Thank goodness he was far enough away that it didn't bother me, but I saw the guy pulling in with his truck and stuff. So get there early. Number two, <clears throat> and this is my mistake, scout. Do your scouting. I just wanted to go deer hunting, and so I knew that this was going to be more of a scouting trip than an actual hunting trip. So I was prepared. I did get up and get my climber and sat there for a while didn't see anything didn't see any signs so I decided to get down and actually do a little bit of scouting here I've never hunted here before even though it's just a few miles from my house but uh, get out and scout there's just no excuse I was just being lazy to be honest and I didn't want to get out and do the work and scout it makes a huge difference so you'd scout you know you'd put out trail cams on your private property on public land you can't do that unless you want them stolen but you can still get out and scout find out where the deer are concentrated the most you know where the pinch points are all that fun stuff get out and scout and number three have a backup plan i uh as you can tell i forgot face paint a face mask anything today and thank goodness i didn't see any deer but had i seen a deer it probably would have saw me first and been gone just because of my white shining face it doesn't look natural in the woods so have a backup plan whether that's somebody beat you to the spot you want to go to have spot number two ready to pack up and go get to real quick or like me having a backup face mask or face paint would have been great today um, you know bow hunting I always have a backup release I've got backup arrows uh, I don't have a backup bow. That would be a really bad day. But there's always a backup. So third and final tip on just, you know, a quick uh, public land hunt. Have a backup plan. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out. I love the support. Comment below what are your three best public land tips. That way you can help me become a better hunter too. Have a great day.